Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start the chapter Algebraic Expressions. In this video, we shall try and understand constants and variables. Algebraic Expressions and its terms monomials, binomials and trinomials and then coefficient, constant term, like and unlike term of algebraic expression. Let us start with the definition of constant. A symbol having a fixed numerical value is called a constant. That means constant has to be any number with a fixed value it can be 2 5 2 by 3 or can be a negative integer or can be 0 but it has to have a constant value now let us define variables a symbol which takes various numerical values is called a variable a variable is generally denoted by x or y or z or maybe s and so on. It would be easy to understand algebraic expressions and its terms using an example. So let us consider one example 2x square minus 3xy plus 5y square. This is an algebraic expression consisting of three terms namely 2x square minus 3xy and plus 5y square. So we can say that a combination of constants and variables connected by signs like addition, subtraction, multiplication or division is called an al algebraic expression. In the given example, we can see that 2 is constant and it is connected with the variable. So 2x square is one term of this whole algebraic expression. Similarly, minus 3xy is one term of this algebraic expression. And plus 5 by square is one term of the algebraic expression. Let us recall that each term in an algebraic expression is a product of one or more numbers and literals. Consider 5xy. This can be one term of algebraic expression. Here 5 is a number while x and y are called literals. Also it is very important to understand that in this example 5xy each digit or literal is a factor of this whole term. That would mean that 5 is a factor of xy, 5xy, sorry. Similarly, x is a factor of the term 5xy and y is also a factor of the term 5xy. Now we are in a position to understand the meaning of 
coefficient according to its definition. Let us try to understand monomial, binomial and trinomial. An algebraic expression containing only one term is called a monomial. Let us consider an example 3y. Here this is an algebraic expression having only one term namely 3y. Hence it is a monomial. Another example of a monomial can be 7xy or 2 by 3 x square y z. All these are examples of monomials. Let us start with binomials. An algebraic expression having two terms is called a binomial. Consider the example 2x minus 3. This algebraic expression has two terms, namely 2x and minus 3. Hence, it is a binomial. Another example of binomial can be xyz minus 5. This algebraic expression also has two terms. xyz is one term and minus 5 is another term. So, it is an algebraic expression containing two terms and hence it is a binomial. Now let us proceed to trinomials. An algebraic expression containing three terms is called a trinomial. Consider the example 2x square plus y square minus xy. In this expression, we have three terms, 2x square plus y square and minus xy. Hence, it is a trinomial. Another example can be 2y cube minus x cube plus 3x square y. In this expression, Again, there are three different terms of the algebraic expression. Hence, it is an example of trinomial. Consider minus 5xy. Then here, the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x is minus 5y. Coefficient of y is minus 5x and coefficient of xy is minus 5. Hence we come to the definition which says that in a term of algebraic expressions any of the factors with the sign of the term is called the coefficient of the product. This is the product of the other factors. We have already understood that minus 5 is one factor, x is one factor and y is another factor. Consider the example minus x. This can be one term of the algebraic expression. Here it is very easy to say that the coefficient coefficient of x is minus 1. Hence we understand that if we are talking of coefficient of x, then we have to exclude x from our term and the remaining factors would be the coefficients. 
hence the coefficient of x is minus 5y in minus 5xy. Similarly, if we are talking about coefficient of y, then excluding y, remaining factors are the coefficients of y. That means minus 5x is the coefficient of y. Similarly, in the second example, coefficient of x is the remaining factors excluding x. If we exclude x, we are left with minus 1. Hence, minus 1 is the coefficient of x in the example minus x. Consider the example x square minus xy plus yz minus 4. This is an algebraic expression and here we have a constant term namely minus 4. We are saying that minus 4 is the constant term in this algebraic expression because it has no literal factors. So we define constant term of algebraic expression as a term of the expression having no literal factors is called a constant term. Terms in algebraic expression having same literal factors are called like terms. So let us see an example of like terms. Say x square plus 7xy plus 3x square. In this example, x square and 3x square are two terms having same literals. Since the literals are same, these two terms are called like terms. To understand unlike terms, let us extend the same example to x square plus 7xy plus 3x square minus 4yz. Now, here we can say that 7xy and minus 4yz are unlike terms because the literals are not same. X 7 has the term plus 7xy has x and y as literals while minus 4yz has y and z has literals. So, 7xy and minus 4yz are unlike terms of this whole algebraic expression. Since the concept of like term is extremely important, so let us take another example and try and understand the concept of like terms. Further in this chapter, we shall be adding and subtracting like terms only. Consider an example 2a square b plus 3ab square minus 4ba square. In this algebraic expression, although it doesn't look to have a like term, but if you see 2a square b and minus 4ba square, both of them have a square and b. Hence, both 2a square b and minus 4ba square are like terms. While the third term 3ab square Although it has a, b, but power of a is not same, also the power of b is not same. So, 3ab square is not a like term 